Hello and welcome to uh, animation tips video. So today I'm going to show you this uh, tool called Anim Selector. This is a very simple and light tool that I use very often. I use it in my workplace as well for the past three years or so. And I also use this for my personal work. So let's get started. This is your picker. So what this tool does, it's a macro hotkey selection, controller selection. For, it's especially is made for animators. So um, one of the annoying things about all these controllers is there's too many and you have to select all of them manually like so. And that can be quite annoying. So this hotkey, um, instead of selecting that way, you can just use this button that you customize your own. So let's try and create one ourselves. Let's, I already created some here. See, this is um, the All button, so it selects everything, and this is the Spine. So let's create another one. Um, let's say we want just the right leg. So we select our leg, knee, and I'm not sure what that is, but I think it's important. Let's select all these right here. Okay, this is the left leg. So you have the character name. My character name is T-Rex, which you can put anything you like. For this I put T-Rex. It has to be exactly the same. It, you cannot have a, um, small letters when it doesn't match. So it has to be exactly caps lock. So T-Rex, and this is the left leg. So this is left leg add button right here. And hit the pick again. Refresh. And your left leg is now there. Pretty cool. And not only that, you can customize the color. I don't use this, but um, it's pretty useless to me. Cause since I don't have that many buttons right here. So you can change the color. Mm, yeah, there's a lot of different colors here. Uh, you can even assign a hotkey, it seems. Oh yeah, but I've never tried this before, but um, I would think it's very useful if you like to do it. But the only thing is that it's it's only these presets like alternate zero to nine. So you cannot if you wanna set this to um what Q or W, it doesn't work that way. But still really good. I highly recommend using this. Um it really helps speed up your workflow. And you can move this box anywhere you like. Yep, that's all for this uh, quick animation tips. I'm gonna be making more of these videos. Um, I'm going to cover different type of workflows, um, different type of techniques to help speed up your workflow, make it easier for you to animate. So stay tuned and bye.